Hi guys, happy Halloween. Welcome to my channel. I have a Victorian housekeeper's junk journal to show you. Um, this is sort of a Downton Abbey meets Wuthering Heights. Um, so it is a little dark, a little gothic um, style to it. And it belongs to this lady right here who I've been calling Mrs. Moriarty. Um, it is a hardcover book six inches wide by eight and three quarter tall with a two and a quarter inch spine flat spine with some spine detail there um, it has six signatures a little over 280 pages i think about 284 front and back lots of journaling space in this one um, there is a metal remnants tag on the back with some twine and on the spine here i've add a little bit of a doily and behind that some lace love how that looks peeking out on the bottom as well I've done a lot of sewing and I've left all the tails hanging and on the cover I've done a collage and we've got a key charm some vintage buttons a little pin a vintage stamp a book plate here I've painted and distressed and I've added a little dictionary entry for remembrance and this opens up and inside we've got a couple of little tucks and a tuck in the middle here with a tag that I made and a vintage uh, Trinity College of Dublin postcard and while this is open you could tuck something in here if you had a, you wanted to put your name or the date you start the journal you could do that and that just closes right up here the closure is two binder clips with a chain and some charms. Scissors, spool of thread, a teacup, a thimble, some things that she may have needed in her uh, job. Let's take a look inside. Right inside the front cover I have a portion of a doily and I've added a couple more pins to this. And here is a vintage chandelier crystal. Maybe it was damaged and needs to be replaced so she's saving it. Um, until that gets done. Everything is tea dyed, very grungy. Some digital stamping. Lots of journaling space. There's a little book plate and a Victorian calling card. Here's a little ruffle made from pattern paper. Washi tape. Here's an Edith Holden page. I've done some stenciling throughout. Um, I've included a, a few of these Harper's Bazaar vintage magazine pages. They were gifted to me um, by Becky. Thank you, Becky. And I've kind of been saving them and I thought they were perfect for this. They are very fragile so I haven't reinforced them either with washi or paper to bind them in. Um, little corner punches there. Some vellum. And digital stamping. A little doily tab. Oh, nice grungy. Here she, oop, the key. Oh, the key is on a bulb pin. Um, so if it gets in your way or bothers you, it's very easily removed. Here she has saved a receipt from a confectioner. The housekeeper would have been in charge of all the expenses and the receipts and deliveries and uh, repairs and as well as the entire staff. I have some rusty little paper clips throughout that I rusted and um, I've cleaned up and sprayed with a, a matte sealer so they shouldn't uh, flake any more rust into the journal or on the journal. Here's a paper ruffle there, another tuck with a couple of pieces of ephemera. This is uh, a vintage linen napkin I've turned into a little tuck spot on this side as well. A little ticket and a Latin flashcard. I've had this for a while of, I want to say it's 1907, a vintage um, lace and tatting pattern, pattern book. And I, although this isn't a sewing theme, uh, there is quite a bit of sewing uh, related items in it. Uh, Napkin folding for the dining room table. Another Harper's Bazaar page. Here is a tea dyed vellum pocket with a journaling card. And um, I believe all of the printables in this are either the Graphics Fairy or the Old Design Shop. I'll put those links down below. Italian language book, ledger. 
the housekeeper would keep track of all the expenses, so there's a bit of ledger in here. Here is a uh, Audubon page. This was my, my grandmother's book. Another little tuck here. A full pocket in the center with a lotto card from the 30s and a tea dyed index card. And then a page from a vintage Singer sewing machine um, instruction booklet. Stamping. Lots of spaces to add photographs or if you collect ephemera, you could uh, attach your own ephemera in. Some stenciling. A little tea dyed paper doily, a little seam binding, and a piece of black velvet ribbon. Another stamp. This is a French book. Oh, I uh, I did some stenciling here, and I thought this would be perfect, especially for a photograph. It would uh, be nice in the middle of that. Ledger, another Harper's Bazaar. Love these images. Here's a pocket with a paper doily and another receipt from a cabinet maker and upholsterer. Uh, Dr. Stoy's Cure for the Bite of a Mad Dog. And I read this, it's very strange. And it really does not sound like it would work, but you never know. A dictionary page with a little percolating coffee pot. Here's a digital stamp of the dining table with a flip out. Another tuck with more journaling. Here we have The Social Code by Mrs. Roger A. Pryor. And she saved this rust proof ad uh, for a corset. journaling cards, and another pocket with a little bit of a paper doily peeking out. Another tuck here with a couple more pieces of ephemera. Another paper ruffle, and a little French label, and a, a Culpepper's English Physician and Complete Herbal. Page here, a vintage book about London. Music paper, here's a Victorian lady. Some art. This is a little earlier than the Victorian time, but a book page from Jane Austen. Maybe it's Mrs. Moriarty's favorite book. Digital stamping, there's some poetry. Um, Emily Dickinson, Edith Holden. Whoa, so many pages in this one. This is a big one. There's a little pocket with some vintage buttons and a couple of tags. Another little doily tab. Some tea dyed rick rack on the edge there. Here's a pocket with some more of the pattern paper ruffle. Vintage buttons I've attached to a printed button card. Here's just a little scrap of journaling paper. And this is, um, a botanical book. I have uh, Wildflowers in Winter. I just, I love those pages. The doily resist when the dyed paper was drying. Here's a page from Sherlock Holmes. Another Harper's Bazaar. And a little pocket here. Tea dyed vellum with another little journaling card. Another page from the lace pattern book. And here's an Edith Holden in the center, and I've stenciled so it borders it when it's open. That's nice and grungy. Some digital stamping.
Here is a lace flip up and another little flip up for some secret journaling under there. And the last signature, a little map page there and the shipping tag, tea dyed. And here's a little notebook. Maybe she would have carried this with her throughout the day to take notes on things. And we've got just some tea dyed vellum and little pieces of tea dyed paper. There's actually quite a few pages in this. And and that just goes there. Little mini. Oh, put that on after. Another language book, Italian. Some corner punches. There's another. And again, see, keeping in, tried to keep in the dark color tones of the book. Another Audubon page. Sherlock Holmes. Another Victorian clothing image. Here's a little tuck here with a couple of tags and another full pocket. We've got a shipping tag. And this, there's nothing inside, but this is a um, like Regency style folded letter with a little wax seal so you could open that up and journal inside of that. Um, I'll actually put the link down below for the YouTube video tutorial for folding the letters. Oh, so, so much fun. So easy. Another little tab. And here a vellum pocket with a little bit of vintage flowers. I don't know why she saved them. Maybe someone who was important to her, someone's wedding, maybe a gift from a suitor. And a little tag there. And I like that you can just see the flower through the vellum. Another tuck here with a ticket and a piece of journaling paper. On the back, I have a tea dyed glassine bag I've turned into a double pocket. So just uh, some more journaling cards. Stick those in and then that goes in there. And that is it. Oops. And along with it, we have a little mini journal. Some tea dyed rickrack. And we've got a couple a pocket here with some more vintage buttons, a little bit of a doily sewed on, a couple of tags, and then just some pages, junk journal pages, book pages, little paper doily, lined paper, ledger, dictionary, so another little mini journal. In the back here we have another a little journaling card. Here's a page from a vintage wildflower book that I love. I think I put a page from this book in every journal. And another little Latin flashcard, which I think these words would describe the housekeeper, diligent, industrious, and faithful. So that is it. It will be in my Etsy shop tomorrow, November 1st at um, noon Eastern time. And I appreciate you so much watching. I hope everyone is doing well. Thank you, and I will see you guys soon. Bye.